A Campus DT team. Greetings from London Gatwick Airport, where me and the family are getting ready to do the last leg of our trip heading from London to Athens. Uh, as you know, you might have already heard, or you will be hearing some very interesting things around allergens and how important they are. My segment was about food safety. And even though I made another video that uh, gloriously failed because I left my tablet back in London, anyway, it's a different story. So, we all know that food perishes and we need to be guided by how long it's been in the danger zone, how it was cooked, how it was stored, and using that and any best before dates, decide if something is um, safe enough for us to eat. Now, what I'm focusing on today is using our senses to decide if something's edible or not. And even though you might preempt what I'm thinking, when looking at an item of food to see if we can eat it, we need to rely on three, three senses. One is the visual. When something looks off, it most likely is off. When we say visual, we're looking for optical cues such as a change in color, a change in texture, or the telltale sign of some furry bits on your tomato sauce. If you see anything that doesn't look right, or if you see the steak you bought has changed color from bright red to dark red, purple, or even black, I think it's time to bin it. If you are unsure about the visual qualities of an item, the other thing you can do is you can sniff it, you can smell it, using your sense of scent to see if something smells the way it should. A good example on that is milk. Milk, depending on how it's stored, might go off well before it's uh, used by day. If in doubt, unscrew the lid and give it a give it a sniff test. If it smells a little bit off, it most likely is. Put it in the bin, or in fact, down the sink and down the bin. The third one, which sometimes is a bit extreme, if you're in doubt about something having been there, you could do the taste test. That's where you tip your tongue and have a look to see if something tastes a bit off. Good example for that is milk. Ah, uh, again. If you undo the bottle of milk and it smells, it's possible that the milk that's on top of the, the bottle, on the screwy bit, has gone off, whereas the rest of the milk is still okay. Again, use your three senses that we said, and try to work out if it tastes right or not. Maybe it even passed all the tests and you're putting it in your cup of tea and it's gone all flaky. Well, that means you gotta chuck the tea and you gotta chuck the milk. Before I close off, I wanted to talk about a fourth uh, element of sense that you can use, and that is common sense. With common sense, I mean, you might have an item of food that has had no best before that. You know the pasta you cooked last week, you put it in a Tupperware container in the back of the fridge? That one. It's been there for more than three days, bin it. Four days, don't even think about it, just bin the thing. These, these items of food get toxins and bacteria that you can't really see or taste or see with your naked eye, but it can cause severe uh, health ailments. So the other thing you can do is if something says, you know, best before date, and you're still well within that best before date, but there was a hole in the packet or the color has changed, discard it. It's not, it's not worth getting gastro, it's not worth feeling sick. So we've got four instead of three senses that I started with. That's your visual, your scent, your taste, and your common sense, which tends to be forgotten. But anyway, wish me luck. I'm getting ready to board a flight. So, as I said, I apologize for missing out on my better video, but that's because, anyway, what I recorded on the tablet um, will be making its way back to, to me in the next couple of days. But until then, stay safe, stay sane, and I'll see you guys soon. Ciao.